What's up, Woodworking Nation, and welcome to Armor God Woodworks. Want to do a quick video for you. Um, this is our Craig pocket hole machine. Um, we've gotten a really good, a uh, lot of use out of it. It's electric. It's called the Foreman. Um, this is what we do all of our face frame material with where we're doing all our connections. Um, one thing we were having a, a problem with was um, getting the getting the chips and everything out from under it, and we would just open it up. This part right here just opens up like this and so you got your drill mechanism and all that in there and uh so every now and then we would just open it up and vacuum it out and it's got a little tool tray right here um and so anyways we had a little situation where i forgot to vacuum it out and the dust chips actually build up around the um it built up around the, the drill and it stopped from working because it got too hot or something i'm not really sure what happened to it but we got in there and cleaned it out started working back fine so we knew that we had to do something about you know getting all of our um, chips and stuff out of there because we were forgetting about it um, and I've got two dust collectors in the shop and so we have the ability to hook them up to either one um, but for this machine we decided you know it's just too much aggravation to try to uh, bring our remote over here because um, we got it set up by our side sander and I didn't want to have to bring a remote over here and buy, you know, all that other stuff and then try to remember to turn it on. So we came up with this really cool uh, idea because we've got another machine that our um, router table is hooked up. Whenever we turn it on, the vacuum comes on and it's a separate vacuum that we've got set up just for our router table. So what we did was we went back and bought the same uh, shop vac, which is a little Craftsman, um, I think it's a five gallon or something. It's a little, it's not a very big one, uh, but it's got plenty of draw on it. And so we ran the hose up into that dust shroud. Now that shroud is made to go, we initially bought it to go behind our miter saw as a, as a catch and hook it up similar to this, but it was gonna go to the big dust collector. Um, but we decided that, you know, since we had this problem right now, we had to solve it. This is what it was gonna be used for. So we got it hooked up. And you can see our reducer right there. It's from four to two and a half. And then our hose comes down and then over into our really cool looking futuristic um, you know, vacuum cleaner that we got over here. And so what we did so that we don't have to turn on the vacuum and remember to turn the Craig machine on, we bought this little adapter right here and it's got an A and B side. So you got your A side, which is where, well, this is the A side right here because I got it turned upside down. So this is the A side. We've got our Craig Foreman plugged in here. We got our vacuum plugged in here. Um, so what it does is whenever you get ready to use the Craig and you turn the machine on and let it run for just a second, the vacuum cleaner shuts on and it. Now whenever you let off, the vacuum cleaner continues to run so that you'll have time to reset your material and cut your next piece so the, the vacuum cleaner is constantly cutting on and off. So it runs for about you know eight to ten seconds longer than the actual machine does, and so whenever you're able to you know do your first pocket hole, and then the and then the vacuum cleaner will come on and catch all the dust particles that went down in the shroud there, and it'll continue to run for about eight or ten seconds, give you enough time to reset and do your next pocket hole, and that way your vacuum cleaner ain't constantly cutting on and off. Um, so if you have a setup similar to this, this is the way you can fix it. So what we we came in here, and this is actually. We've got this top right here that it's just like, it was a countertop that we needed to put, you know, a bunch of different things on. And so we, we had our Craig machine in a different spot and we moved it to here because we put our hinge board machine where our Craig machine was. And this just seemed like a better place for it just because of the location it is in our shop. So we mounted it on this piece of melamine right here and just screwed it down. We screwed the melamine from underneath um, so it would make sure that we're we're held down very good to the to the deck we got going on there um, So we took it all apart yesterday And we drilled Well, we took our jigsaw and just sawed out that big hole right there directly under um, Where all the sawdust and everything will fall in and the reason we did it where it's such a big hole Is that you notice that whenever I cut it on the vacuum cleaner it takes it about you know a few seconds I'm actually done a pocket hole before the vacuum cleaner comes on. So I needed somewhere for that dust to go so it's not just binding all up under the Craig machine. And so it just goes down in that shroud. 
vacuum cleaner comes on, sucks it all up in there, and so now we're dust free, and it's really made a huge difference in the way this Craig machine works. So if you've got a situation like this, and you know my dust collector, it's just, it's just kind of not really feasible for me to tie that in. And you can see we've got that right there, um, and that runs to our old dust collection system. It's not even hooked up anymore. Uh, we just left it in there because it's too aggravating to take out, and so it's just there. So it, that pipe right here does not function. So you know, don't say anything about it being my dust collection because it, it doesn't work. So we just did this uh, to make this work. But I didn't really want to have to hard pipe this thing in and all that stuff. So, you know, just that was a pretty neat way. And then whenever it gets full, I can just take this out and empty it. And I don't have to worry about dumping double bags and all that um, in my dust collector. So, anyways, if you got a situation like this, that's a cool way to take care of it. And this little unit right here that we got from Amazon, I don't, it was called, I think it was from Power Tech or something like that, um, works really well. If you've got a vacuum cleaner hooked up to a machine it's, and you need that vacuum cleaner to come on as a dust collection system for an individual machine, um, works really great. So anyways, I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope this helps some of y'all out there. Um, you know, we try to do some neat stuff up here, Armor God Woodworks, just to try to help everybody out and keep you from making the same mistakes that we made. But anyways, all we can do is get better by the day. Hope you all have a blessed one and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.